Hello and welcome back to the Vital Truth Channel. Or if this is your first time here, I want you to know that you're welcome and we're really glad that you came. Today I would like to talk to you about only the fearless are on the battlefield. You know, I was thinking about that. The hour is very dark and we are definitely in warfare. And if you're not on God's battlefield and doing spiritual warfare on a large scale, now a lot of people will claim that they're in battle and warfare because they're battling over their own uh, small little realm that's within their home, within their family. <clears throat> Excuse me. And yes, the battle is there as well. But, you know, crying over your wants and the things that you're working toward and trying to obtain and thinking that's the battle, that's not the battle. Our battle is spiritual. It is not flesh and blood, but it is through principalities and powers of the air, wickedness in high places. You know, I was thinking about this march that they're doing from Manhattan to the West Coast and with these um, crystal skulls. You know, why are God's children sitting back and saying, oh, isn't that awful? Come on. We're in battle. You know, we need to stand up and we need to rebuke that. We need to rebuke in the name of Jesus those 13 people or however many elders. And we need to bind that stuff and we need to you know, keep that stuff away. You know, they're trying to conjure up and call spirits up from the earth and out of the ground. And, you know, we are the children of the Most High God. We have a heritage. We have a right. We have a say. The say that we have is that nothing that the enemy plans will prosper. No weapon that is formed against us will prosper. Do you want, and we know that things have to come to pass and, and that it's going to be fulfilled. God's plans and purposes, no man's going to stop. No demon from hell, Satan himself, no one is going to come against what God has planned. God is in full control. Jesus is in full control. But can we sit back and fold our arms and be idle and never think that it's our duty as warriors, as the children of God, to engage in warfare and come against this stuff and defeat it? I mean, covering our mouths and saying, Oh! That's not enough. That's not going to cut it. Until the proper time, until God says, and that He's going to bring it to pass. Folks, we need to be engaged in warfare. We need to be praying and breaking these strongholds, pulling them down, binding the enemy, bringing to naught the things that they are planning and purposing to come against you, against me, against our families. Let me just slow down just a little bit, if I can here. What I'm trying to say is, have you ever seen a soldier come off the battlefield? You know, usually they're covered with dirt smoke, maybe gunpowder. They're weary, they're hungry, they're thirsty, they're cold, or they're hot, they're worn down, they've been in battle. They know who's fighting beside them, who's got their back. It's very important that they have trust and confidence, not only in their leader, but the one who is fighting alongside them. It really means something to be on the battlefield 
for the Lord. It means something to stand up for Jesus and the kingdom of God and his purpose. Do you know his purpose? If you're in prayer and you're seeking his face, he's revealing to you the things that are at hand, the things that are fixing to come to pass. And we need to be praying in accordance to the will of God. And if you don't know the will of God, pray in the Holy Ghost. He knows the will of God. He will pray the will of God through you. But we have to be engaged in battle. We are in battle for ourselves, for our soul, for our family, for our neighbors, our neighborhood, our country, for the world. We must be praying. You know, I'm reminded of a story in the Bible, the seven sons of Siva. You know, and that's what's happening today. All of these people who are claiming to be Christians, believers, going out, doing all of these things in the name of the Lord without knowing Jesus. And in that story, they went to cast out some demons, and these demons said, Hey, uh, Jesus we know, and Paul we know, but who are you? Folks, that's what's happening. There's very few people that have the power of the Holy Ghost in their life who know how to engage in spiritual battle and have the victory. And then those are battle-worn and needing held up, needing strengthened. They look to the left of them and the right and there's nobody there to fight along with them. They're trying to make up a hedge and there's gaps because everyone's sitting back and reading these things. They're, the devil is bold enough now that it's in the news headlines. It's not even being done in darkness and in secret. It's bold right, in, right out in front of all of us. And the Christians in the church houses are still having their harvest parties. They're still engaged in all of their banquets and their out to eat and their shopping sprees and all of the things that they're filling their lives with and the cares of this life and all of their worldly possessions and all of these things. But you know what's happening? Isn't anybody going to stand up and use the power and authority and have the signs accompanying them that the Spirit of the living God is in them and has power and authority in this earth in the name of Jesus? Are we going to sit and just be bulldozed over and allow our enemy to conquer us? I'm not. But like I said, there are so very few who are willing to pay that price, who are willing to hit the battlefield and stay until the victory's won, who's making up the hedge, trying to plead for mercy in the meantime while they're engaged with in battle with these spiritual uh, demonic realm in high places. And it's just really... It gets to me, to, see, and then they'll be the first ones to cry out, well, can you believe this? This right's been taken away. That right's been taken away. Pray, my children can't pray in school. They can't even take a Bible in their book bag. And uh, they're going to shut down our churches, and, and we're going to have to accept this and do this and be incorporated. And yeah. Everyone's setting back allowing it to happen. No one wants to pay the price through prayer on their knees before God, using the power and authority and rising up fully armored, knowing who you are in the kingdom of God, a truth warrior, an end time son of God, 
filled with the Spirit, standing strong in the power of His might, bringing down these devices and these plans that your enemy has against you to destroy you and your children and your community, your country. We know that we're living in the end time and we know that darkness is increasing and we know that God's plan is right on time and He will orchestrate it according to His will. But in the meantime, why are we sitting back allowing these things to happen? Now, I'm not talking about trying to stop God. No one will stop God. But your enemy is trying to stop you. He's trying to stop me. And I'm not going to be one to sit idly by and be destroyed or watch other people be destroyed if I can help it. We need to rejoice. Not that the devils are subject to us, but rather that our names are written in the Lamb's book of life. And only the fearless are going to go on to God's battlefield. The fearful and the unbelieving, they're going to be found in the lake of fire. There will be no cowards in the service of of the Most High God. We're either going to believe the captain of our salvation and who he says he is and who he says he has made us or we're not. There's so many things going through my mind and I want to be so careful as to what I say. But it's sad today that the greatest majority of the prayers that are being prayed is grace that's being said over the food before people eat and the little now I lay me down to sleep before they go to bed. No wonder he said few there will be that find it. Very few are willing to pay the price. Very few know the Lord Jesus Christ and the requirements that it takes to be a child of God. Get off the hairdos. Get off the dress codes. And arm yourself in the full armor of God. And be the soldier that God has called you to be. An end time warrior who is willing to fight the good fight of faith, to rebuke the devil, to get him under your feet and behind you where he belongs, to allow the perfect plan of the Lord Jesus Christ to come to pass without hindrance, without delay, without problems that don't need to be. Folks, please stand up. Find out who you are and where you are in the body of Christ and you can only find that out by seeking Jesus because he's the only one that knows do it now the hour is very late darkness is everywhere it's abounding and it's getting darker every day your enemy de never sleeps nor slumbers he's never off guard he's always lurking as a lion seeking whom he may devour. If you don't take your place and put your armor on and stand shoulder to shoulder with your brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus and make up the hedge and begin pulling down these strongholds, breaking off those chains of darkness, setting the captive free, healing the sick, Raising the dead, casting out demons. Who knows? You may be next. Maybe one of your children. You better get a hold of the true Holy Ghost power of God and have it fill you to overflowing. 
quit squabbling over whether speaking in tongues is the evidence or not. You know in your heart, if you come face to face with a demon, whether or not you have power over it. You know what it's going to take. You know, those seven sons of Siva I was talking about when those demons said, Jesus we know and Paul we know, but who are you? <laughs> they jumped on them, beat them to a pulp, stripped their clothes off of them, and they escaped with their lives running off naked. You know, it means something to be a son of God, to be led by the Holy Spirit of God. And I'm calling for those who are God's children and hear His voice and are known of Him and follow Him to take your rightful position and your stand in the body, in this army, in these last days and come fight alongside those who know the power of God who know the victory and obedience to our master and who is willing to go on the battlefield and fight for the lost souls and fight for your children for your family and your brothers and sisters until we see our Lord appear and come for us. May the Lord Jesus bless you. Well